Is Roaring Kitty gone, or are we just nearing the end of the movie? You see, the movie is almost done if every single day was one tweet. Roaring Kitty returned on May 12th, and he tweeted then 110 tweets plus one edited one. May 12th or 13th divided by 110 or 111 gives us August 30 to 31st. Now this is just some daily entertainment, but the conspiracy goes on even further with some data backing it based on Roaring Kitty's tweets. Does this also maybe have to do with his pinned tweet being dated August 30th of 2020? Last but not least, please let me know if you guys can play this clip because this is the only clip on Roaring Kitty's tweets that I cannot load. And I used to be able to. This tweet was 3.45 p.m. May 17th, 2024. Somebody brought up a good point. That is absolutely the fact, in my opinion. Short interest is being hidden through ETFs that contain AMC and or GameStop. Vortex reporting 13.67% for AMC. Again, we know it is much greater than that, but we pay attention to this for the trend. And at this point, paying attention to it for the trend is getting a little bit sketchy, seeing that they are hiding short interest within these ETFs anyway. Last but not least, before we get into the charts, if you guys haven't liked the video yet, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel to join the family on the journey to financial freedom. Okay, back to the video. Kamala Harris is considering Gary Gensler as Treasury Secretary if elected president, according to Senate sources. So basically, retail investors have a candidate where he's going to immediately fire Gary Gensler day one and a candidate where he's going to be Treasury Secretary. Let me know your opinions in the comments. AMC is trading at 499 down a half a percent on the day. I'm going to explain exactly where we are potentially at. We have been waiting three years every single day with this barcoding is nothing new. Do not get aggravated or agitated. Instead, focus on something different, but always keep this in your subconscious mind waiting for that move. This is the zone where we have been tracking for AMC. And if I bring the drawings in right here from the low into this cycle, 126 days in brings us right about here in this blue cycle. Okay, so right in the semi beginning to middle of the cycle, this chop trade right here after scaling slightly higher. Okay, AMC right now, bringing the drawings in from this very low, 126 days. This is where we are trading at. Scaled a little bit higher, curling a little bit down. Based on this, it's looking very, very similar to what we had back here. With that being said, this is the rest you have to play out. The pop, scale down, and then the squeeze. Hopefully getting a pop off of this trend line, scale down, and then squeeze. Okay, this is exactly where we're trading at with AMC. A lot of your stocks, how long until that pop comes? And until this cycle is done, that would be 139 days before that first pop. So what that would look like, 139 trading days would look right about here, which lands on actually August 30th. So how coincidental is that, right? August 30th, that is exactly what it lands on. I actually did not set that up, so that's just even crazier. Now, GameStop trading at $22.18, down 2.12% on the day. This is what we have been tracking previously to where we're trading at right now. And I'm going to show you again exactly where I think we could be trading at. We are 111 days into this cycle on GameStop. Based on the previous cycle, 111 days in brings us right here to this yellow line, meaning we are almost finishing the red cycle. With that being said, when does the pop start again? About 122 to 123 days in. If we drag that out, 122 days in, August 30th. August 30th, okay? August 31st, August 30th. This is the same exact time frame we see for AMC. So as of right now, that is the date that I'm excited for for AMC as well as GameStop. And I think there are other plays to watch on the way there, just like Nokia, just like COS, which we brought up in yesterday's video. COS is up another 13%, trading at 9.65, exactly like we said, came up to that $10 mark. Now, if it breaks above this and closes above this, watch for 12.35. A break above 12.35 is gonna bring us into the top of the range. Overall, COS is building some nice momentum right here. We would like to see more volume pick up on COS. Also, other plays like Cassava Sciences and some other squeeze plays that I'm gonna let Discord know about that run alongside AMC and GameStop normally are something to watch and pay attention to as well. Okay, the S&P 500 trading at 558.93, down 0.13% on the day. Sold off after we touched 560, almost 561. Came down and we're holding this ascending support trend line that we have been in back on August 15th, then August 16th, then the 19th, and now today testing it each and every day. Once you get a breakdown, if you get a breakdown, 
SPY has some room to fall down to 555 and then potentially 552.75 this week. Thursday and Friday are going to affect that. Or you could see a move higher, but we are nearing crucial, crucial levels that we will essentially pay attention to going forward. We're going to talk about some things that affect the overall market, but first I want to talk about TMF 5937. People are anticipating rate cuts for September, and that is exactly why you are seeing this thing scale up. Watch for a break above 60 and close above to bring us up to 6575 on TMF. I do still hold this in my long-term portfolio. Okay, Jerome Powell will mention that the Fed is open to cutting rates by 50 BPS this Friday at Jackson Hole speech. This is just speculation. He may not mention that at all, or he may mention something that could essentially be bearish for the market as well. Overall, it will be shifting the market. Now, is gold predicting something catastrophic in the markets as well, like it did back in 2008? There are always these conspiracies, but just right now, there are too many things lining up to show that the market is going to remain strong. Do you think the market is going to be propped up into the election and then sell off after or sell off into it and then be propped up after the election? Because I think this is the biggest debate as of right now that we have to pay attention to. Okay, a couple other things and opinions. Way back, we had this drawn out NVIDIA coming down to 96, coming back up to 127 and then selling off even further down to around $60. We got price target one hit price target to hit now is the catastrophic event going to happen where it brings us down to $60 or is Nvidia going to go for an all-time high as of right now a close above 127 which is likely today is looking good that looks like Nvidia could come back up to test around 135 and that is something that we are watching as of right now overall going to be a choppy week based on the news that we have especially happening later in the week amd up 1.22 percent trading at 157.17 i like this it wicked above the fib came down got rejected if we close above the fib amd has a lot of room to run first price target being 165 if we close above 158.30 keep nvidia on your radar alongside palantir if you haven't seen my video on palantir make sure to go watch that tesla basically sideways 222.86. Closing above 220 was bullish. Now we are entering this supply zone and it is getting rejected. Overall, I don't see many opportunities as of right now that are a layup of a trade, but continuing to add specific stocks in a long term and dollar cost averaging doesn't seem like a bad idea in my opinion. As of right now, best idea personally, not financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor, is to sit on some cash and be ready to take some good opportunities. Lastly, crypto, nothing happening, still flagging out. We couldn't break out of this flag with enough momentum and close. We broke back into the flag and overall, we're just waiting for a decision on the market for Bitcoin, so on and so forth. Overall, guys, that is what I got for you for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching or found value out of the video. Make sure to go in the description, press the third link, join the Discord so you can come talk with me and the most amazing people, stocks as well as crypto all day long. We also have options trading alerts in there. I also post my trades as soon as I enter them, and that is just a coffee a month. The benefits you get out of it are well worth it. It is the third link again under the description, and I will pin it in the comments for you guys. And the second link under the video is for Moomoo, where if you open an account through my link and make a deposit, you are going to start earning 8.1% APY on your uninvested cash with your money insured, all that good stuff, and up to 20 free stocks. All you got to do, open an account and make a deposit into your account. They're also giving you level two order book data for free, access to trading options going long going short viewing other exchanges and more as a retail trader so shout out to Mumu for hooking it up and last but not least the top link is for my custom indicator pattern detection and forecasting if you're new here and don't have this go add it to your trading view charts it detects patterns for you gives price targets and forecasts what the stock might do and just because I think you'll like it so much I'm giving you a two-week free trial go add it to your trading view charts that is it guys I love you all lottery socks out